Sheboygan where a neighbor shared this video with us. It's from Sunday night. It shows police surrounding a person on the ground. Authorities say that 23 year old was shot by police after lunging at an officer and taking their gun. It's heartbreaking. My stomach boiling. My heart is aching. I don't know what's really going on with my son. That's Terry McKenzie. She says her son is the man who was shot. Terry says when she heard gunshots outside her home, she never imagined it would be a family member. Mary Jo Ola spoke with Terry and a neighbor about what happened near 13th and Superior. Cell phone video shows police surrounding a person on the ground near North 13th Street and Superior in Sheboygan. Sirens blaring. I heard a couple of bang, 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 about five, six shots and I thought, oh, it sounded like gunshots. Sheboygan police say they responded to a call for a man waving a gun. Law enforcement says officers found a 23-year-old man who matched the description. While questioning him, the man lunged at an officer, assaulted them, and took their handgun from their duty belt. A second officer shot the 23-year-old. It was pretty shocking. Everybody was coming out of their houses. Everybody was like, what's going on? Police say the man was arrested, taken to a hospital, then flown to Green Bay for surgery. Terry McKenzie says police shot her son. Tommy Dixon multiple times. I just know he left out the house to go to the store and that's the end results. We met outside St. Vincent Hospital in Green Bay where we also saw a Sheboygan police squad car outside. Police have not confirmed that Dixon was the man shot. Like neighbors, McKenzie says she heard the gunfire. And I went out and I actually started video going live on my Facebook page. Didn't even know that that was my son. How did you find out it was Tommy? Three hours later, Sheboygan police came to my door, said your son, Tommy Dixon, was in an altercation with the police department. McKenzie says they live close by and that her son walked to the nearby gas station often. She claims Dixon doesn't own a gun. This mother wants answers and to view any police footage. I want to know exactly what happened with my son and what is his condition. The officer who was attacked suffered minor injuries. West Bend police are now investigating. Sheboygan police say that the two officers involved have been placed on administrative leave. The officer who fired his weapon is 29 years old and has been with the Sheboygan Police Department for two years. In Green Bay, Mary Joel, the TMJ4 News.